<clears throat> so, testing out Streamlabs version of OBS because as it stands with yesterday's Trails stream, kind of not liking the audio delay. Now, right now, it doesn't look like anything process-wise is any different between OBS Studio and Streamlabs version of OBS. So, I'm not sure if I should expect a difference. Um, right now, doesn't seem like there's any difference. Obviously, there's no delay, but the delay kind of shows up as the stream progresses. So, we'll, um, we'll have to see how that works. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on, let me, there we go. Oh, that'll work a little easier. Um, there's some just like new widgets and um, tabs and things to look at with Streamlabs OBS. I kind of like it. Mm, it imported all of my settings really easily, so that's a uh, that's a boon because that was something I was hesitant about doing because I saw it yesterday, and I uh, I didn't pick it up because I figured eh, I'll have to move all my stuff around. Not the case. Imported it nicely. Hopefully the recording is right. Um, it. I mean, I'm looking at my settings. It had the VBR and everything set right. The only thing different is the the audio, actually. The audio device. The game audio and the microphone audio are now in two separate channels. That was not the same before. And I'm actually kind of happy for that. Other than the fact that the... Desktop audio, which is the game audio, is infinitely louder, even at a negative 10 decibels, than um, the auxiliary audio at a regular 0 decibels. So, not sure what to think about that. But, let's try to get this game running, because I haven't done the, the thing, made a scene for it. So, this might go about as well as Trails went yesterday when loading it. Hold on. Create output project. Is that what we're calling it now? Oh, for fuck's sake. I. <clears throat> What the fuck Get did I just create? Oh, so it can't eat proper. Dunno, I'm not sure I like that. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Ah, bollocks. Been all in him a week, hasn't tried a thing. Why are he up and bolt now? Matter of fact, got to thinking. Whether a sweet, gentle chap like him. What? Okay, hold the fort. There, there, there's some weird shit going on, and we just missed all of that. Um, I'm gonna have to... There we go, now we're getting somewhere. There we go. That was a little awkward. So this is basically like Gwent with RPG things. So I don't know what that intro was, but uh, we done missed half of it. So good on me. Um, Audio-wise, let's see if I can adjust anything. Because this might be ridiculously loud. So I'm actually going to turn it down like a minus 5. What if I turn everything? Okay. Just wanted to see how this new thing connects my audio to the game audio there. Okay, that's better, yeah. With options to skip battles? The fuck? Moderate challenge and impactful story? 
Familiar with Gwent. Y yep, that's basically me. I am familiar with Gwent. I played Witcher 3, and I actually was in the Gwent beta, so... Can probably handle Gwent. I'm gonna raise the audio up just a little bit for stream. Their sliders. Uh. Things seem pretty legit. Yeah, you know, let's go Bone Breaker. We're, we're going hard mode. I used to play a, a Weather Monster deck back in, uh, back when I played Gwent. And then they nerfed that to the ground, so. Oops. The year 1267. War hung in the air, its scent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaluga. Why is it frozen? The, threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, there we go. forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Neve, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ah. As the queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Neve's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Yeah, something tells me that ain't gonna happen. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Hail, Your Majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. Oh, so we get full voice acting, so I don't even get the voice act. A little feels bad, man, but, you know, it gives my voice a rest. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> The strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during your grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Disapp that would be my response. I deliberated. Wasn't at all certain in giving you the task. I knew you to be an equally good strategist as I am a shepherdess. So my intuition said no, yet Reynard interceded on your behalf. Your Grace, they're common bandits, while the Count will have a host of men-at-arms to command. Next time, I shall trust my gut. All right, speak. What has happened? Be precise. As Your Grace ordained, I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays' camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall to surprise them as they slept. Alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw stuffed dummies around the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions and ridden to Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. <laughs> Rip the tax, man. This is seeming a little bit like Warframe. We're taking it to the man. So the gold? All of it? Uh, it's stolen, Your Grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. If it be Your Grace's wish. Um, you seem kind of utterly incompetent, my dude. After weeks in the saddle, Your Grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. 
Your force, Coldwell, I will now command. You... Send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Man, get stuck being a maid. Leonard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm, yes. And very little time. Um, do -do 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 tutorial. You should get acquainted. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. Enjoy using the. Oh, really? I can't. WASD? No WASDs, huh? Following the yellow brick road. I wonder if I can edit WASD in. Collect the falling resources. Good. Good. Yes. We need some good. We need some wood. And then we need some recruits. Huh. Interesting. Okay, but you can move this from, like, the thing now. But why does the queen have to do this all herself? Okay, how do we how do we do the thing though? Oh, right click and hold down. Milka, they stretched her over a fire till she told them where she buried her gold. Oh. I'd rather die than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. That's cool, but um, where's Milka, dude? Did they add, like, some ketchup and salt to her? Because we could use some food, I'm sure. So the gold's in front of a barn? So is this wood, gold, and soldiers? Those are only resources then? Wood, gold, and soldiers? Ooh, wait, what's this? Nope, we've got broom resources. Let's see it. Oh, never mind, it's this wood. I thought we were grabbing the broom. No, oh, yeah, what do we got here? No, show me. Show me broom resource. Oh, <laughs> They don't mind me just, you know, taking all of their lumber. Oh, so also in line with um, changing what kind of OBS I'm using, I also changed my mic's position. I actually have the mic. Now, it's always been in a foam little thing because the stand was weird. But now not only is it in a foam little thing, it's in a foam little thing on top of the box. So it's literally right in my face, so I'm not talking downward past the, um, um, the screen that I have for it. Uh, huh. That looks like it's something. Hey, what about you? What do you gotta say? Hey, can I just steal your sign you're fixing up there? That could be some wood. Open menu, options. Do we have like controls options? Difficulty, fair enough. Huh. Oh, so it looks like there's not like a save and continue. It's just straight up save and exit, which means <laughs> all decisions are kind of final. Okay, yeah, there's a tree up there. There might be the barn. Oh, no, this is the barn. 
They look, and we found Milka as well in the box. Can't explore anywhere else. I do like the art style. The art style reminds me... Um, I don't know why I'm getting reminded of this. It reminds me a little bit of Lords of the Realm. Like Lords of the Realm 2, the old uh, Sierra game. But it shouldn't. Because it's in no way, shape, or form like that. But there's that rustic sort of feel to it that uh, reminds me of that. You need to spend some of my resources. Or we could just like walk around it that's a resource right get the fuck out of the way have loggers sort the matter our soldiers should conserve the strength uh, yeah fuck it we, we just got gold. Let's get the extra wood. I don't know how much gold is going to be... I mean, well, naturally gold is going to be important. But I don't know how uh, important it's going to be in relation to... What? Interactive objects mark clearly on your map, but not all. Well, where the fuck's the map? Some events cannot be predicted, so you'd best be prepared for anything. Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. Uh, that they sounds were promptly dumb. knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! <laughs> Was that the ferocious cry? <laughs> Unique cards, okay. Fair enough. Looks like we're uh, playing Gwent. It's been a while, but I think I should do fine. Especially since it's a tutorial battle. It's like that time I played the Elder Scrolls Legends and... Uh, had a had a battle of wolves. You ever play wolves with a card game? Fun times. Okay. Yep, the melee, the ranged. Are there? Isn't there an artillery range too? Okay. only play one card that seems is that the same as Gwent I don't even remember no I thought in Gwent you could play pretty much as many cards as you wanted to in a single turn and that was part of the thing because it was about knowing how to conserve your cards To attack the queen and outrage. Mm hmm. Or maybe it was one at a time, and then I don't know, my brain doesn't remember. Yeah, this is slightly different, the armor thing. Your Grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Boost self by five. Well, damn. This guy is, what, in the melee range or something? Ah! 
Looks like this guy is the best one to play. Where do we put him? What's your range, buddy? Looks like you're melee. Go in there and swing. Ah, should I listen? Salt of the earth, they are, your grace. They'd follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. Okay, I remember this a little bit. I shall teach you to respect the crown, you dogs! So, this is where I remember it being different because if you ended your turn, didn't that mean you just, uh. I mean, that was it. Each adjacent unit from your deck. I might do this what? one. Who dares? Yeah, huh? Move one unit to the row opposite this unit and damage them by one, okay. Why you? Well, we're gonna be uh interesting. I'm a the number of cards on the row when he's played. Well, I don't like you being that high, so. Yes! No. Our victory is assured! Sound the horns! May they sing praises of this triumph for ages! Yep. Most strength points. This is pretty standard, Gwent. The battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Okay, we draw more uh, cards. That's for sure. Battle formation. Protect the queen. Willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Ah! Hope he doesn't have anything like Scorch. That's ballsy move. Hey. Okay, fine. We, we can play that. Time to reap. A time to sow. You can't do anything else but play stuff, so. Ah, oh, shit. Can't hit back there. Whoops. Ah! 
Offer up a storm, knock out one of your teeth. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandit stood not a chance. Yeah, it's because it's tutorial. So there's some small differences between this and the normal Gwent that I remember playing, so it's good to know, but uh I didn't read any of that shit. Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors. I've not heard of an ambush on the high road of foe. Caldwell explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come! The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains. They're gonna be the ones getting out the logs next time. No, no where are you going? Loot. Oh, it's this nice little, uh, battle aftermath here. We get some uh some wood. Ah uh, I do adore this prospect. Yes. Lyria, the Pearl of the North, with its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. Survey army, pitch camp. Okay, it's all pretty standard stuff, I guess. Most can uh, buildings can be improved. In your oh, well, and then we just take the improved buildings. We can just make some mansions and um, put them on wheels. And give you access to stronger units. Yep. Mm-hmm. Enter the work. So this is a little darkest dungeon like if you ask me. You can build improved camp buildings. You improve camp buildings, you must first collect the appropriate quantity of gold and wood. Fair enough. You need access to a regional map, but to get it you must first improve your royal tent. Upgrade the royal tent to level two. Then I realized it took all that wood to make a tent. Now I've accessed a regional map. It's can gain in the game screen. Nice. Itself can be improved. You can access to new stronger units. Command tent. Where the hell is that? Oh, okay. So I do love card games. Um, but one of the reasons why I don't get into card games very often is because you have to make the deck. Like, not like this part of make the deck, but you have to, like, unlock the cards, and that's a whole freaking process for me that I'm not really fond of. I much prefer to just, you know, have the cards and screw around with making them. But we'll see how they do this. Okay. Hmm. Available for you to create and place in your deck or split in the main screen. So that's my actual deck, and those are the available ones. Access to new cards, upgrading the training grounds and workshop as well, as to certain story related. Tasks. Oh, I have to create them. Okay. A minimum of 25 cards while not exceeding your army's recruit cap. Currently, your recruit cap sits at 125 point. Okay, okay. I, I see now. So each one is going to have 
a different amount of points so that you essentially can't like uh high stack your your deck because i was about to say who the hell would have 125 cards in a deck because generally in card games you want the smallest deck so that you can cycle all of your uh, cards to maximize your strategy cards you need a particular resource recruits Helmet icon. Mm hmm. Wagenberg card. The Wagenberg. Damage all units on an enemy row by this unit's armor amount. Then lose all armor, huh? How do I craft it? Double click? Right click? Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Recruit. And it costs gold and stuff as well. Walls on wheels. It's apparently our idea when we're moving around camp. We have one of them. Interesting. Cost 15, looks like. So, okay. And that's essentially like provisions, so that makes sense. Okay, easy enough. I don't know what the hell that is. Turn in the new journey. Okay, well, let's see what this is. Permanent resilience. And BV is their ability, reduce her cooldown by one. Uh, forge your tonic, see unit by 10. So basically recharges their ability, I guess, by one. Okay, so basically we have no idea, like, what cards are really there. We'll have to unlock more as we go. Fair enough. Doesn't look like I'm gonna mess too much with this. Just kinda look at what's here. Play random ally from your graveyard. Vian Pikeman. Summon all copies of this unit? That seems like it's something you'd want a lot of. Takes five of that. It's three damage, so if you had, like, a shit ton of them in there... And then could like buff a row with it. Like if you had like a warhorn kind of a thing. Yeah, I could uh, see that being pretty powerful. Now take a look at your other camp buildings, familiar size functions, or you can return to the da -da. The mess tent. You can talk with your compa okay. You may just learn a secret or two. This so is the little fire emblem like. I can definitely get into that. But who are you? The Grey Rider. Oh. Well. You're kind of, um, not interesting. A bit of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even? Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company. Delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. <coughs> but... Do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be, you departed husband's aid. Nope. 
guess he just started talking shit to the wrong people, and then the Gleed Squad comes showing up, and you know, you gotta fix some um, kneecaps out. I don't, but would gladly hear it. I had but 20 winters behind me when I enlisted, yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start, not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant, nor did I deserve it. To earn that respect became my driving aim, and to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the King's decisions. <laughs> this maneuver Reginald botched, that he failed to think through. And yet elsewhere, he'd blundered like a schoolboy. Yeah, Talk you're done that screwed. Could only ever result in misfortune. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with les majesty. That's a, um, an interesting crime to have. Toxic, get hit. The court-martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. I was guilty of treason. Wow. And the noose awaited me. Correct. But Reginald first stayed the execution, then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. Reginald listened, raptly and silently, and when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. Damn, dude, just got lucky. Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Raynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. Hmm. <laughs> I thank you for sharing that tale, Raynard. Truly. Alas. I've come to fear villain might simply not be cut out to be a king, let alone a good one. A harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. The prince has but 16 summers to him. Oh, well, letting young 16-year-olds, um, rule things. These are the kind of assholes who are gonna be, like, driving cars real fast. He's gonna go take his horse on a joy ride right off a mountain. It's gonna be, like, fucking Skyrim horses up in here. So, um, yeah, maybe not the best to, uh, let the 16-year-old rule. And he's thus fully grown. The crown he should be able to bear at his age. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances, events beyond his control. Would that it was so, Reynard. Would that it was so. Elsewise, we must hope Anseus will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that either. Well, peace. It's time I attended to other matters. Interesting. So yeah, this is a little Fire Emblem-esque with some of this. I assume, like Fire Emblem, um, some of these conversations will actually beget some sort of, like, reward past just story stuff as well, so... An interesting thing. Uh, what else do we have? What's the Royal Tent do? In view letters and maps. Aw oh, man, them letters gonna do what I do with half of my mail. Just right in the trash. As well as keys and card fragments. Huh. Access to the main game screen. Pressing the knapsack menu icon. Okay. Your Highness, artisans from Agradbor have prepared a new tapestry pattern for the throne room. I've included an engraving of the design. You will be pleased with it, I hope. A citrine lion inherited from King Coram the first. Bared fangs or barred fangs or yeah, one of the two. Offer stunning realism. And the ancestral sword of the Delines of Tamiria appears as if forged in the very depths of Mahakam. I've no doubt it shall prove the castle's latest masterpiece. We eagerly await your return, my lady. 
Gustave Perrot, Royal Steward. Cool. So while you're out doing war, we decided to basically replace your wallpaper. Hope you don't mind. Dear Meave, you've my gratitude for attending the summit. What luck we did not put off meeting any longer. From what my men say, armies on the march are kicking up a veritable dust storm to cross the Yaruga. Come what may, remember, you have my full and unconditional support. Best witches, Demaven. Don't know who that is. Other reports, an elf guardian movement. Noted increase in Nilfgaardian activity in foothills of Amel, Amel Mountain rather, and near Rienbrund. Ambassador claims routine training exercises, number of troops, quality of equipment indicate otherwise. Recommends strengthening border forces and tripling patrols along Yaruga. Interesting. So, here's the thing of my knowledge of Witcher, um, the Witcher universe rather. I've pretty much only played like maybe three fourths or so maybe if do only two thirds i don't know i've played a good chunk of witcher 3 a tiny tiny bit of witcher 1 and that's it i had difficulty getting into witcher 1 in fact i streamed part of witcher 1 but i had difficulty getting into it simply because um the controls were really kind of clunky for me um, yeah, I think if I do go back and stream the Witcher series, which I definitely want to, I'll use a controller all the way through. Because I had to use a controller for Witcher 3. Um, but, yeah, we'll just have to see how that works. But, so, basically what I'm saying is that, you know, I know, you know, who the Nilf Guardians are and certain things like that. But I've never read the books. I don't know all of these land masses or anything. To certainly want to read the books maybe one day, but <laughs> whenever I get the time. Strays of Spala. Bandit group formed after revolt in dungeons of Spala Castle. Mainly pickpockets, racketeers, cut purses, assassins, armed with slings, daggers, instruments of torture stolen from Spala. Headmen's axes, saws, hammers. Oh, you know, just the whole gambit it seems. Clever and bolder than common bandits, attack heavily armed can convoys, rather. Um, noblemen's mansions, unable to determine identity of group's leader. Milka's map. Yep, yeah, got that. Got no keys. Nothing there. Okay. What is this? Building requirements. Increase the number of trinkets Meave can equip. That's a lot of... Um, yeah, it's a lot. At least we could share stories with comrades. Can't unlock any of that. Ooh, what is this? Watchtower? Use scouts to mark the location of treasure and resources on your regional map or a command tent. It was unit creation. Oh, we already have that. We don't have this, but it doesn't look like this would cost much. Mine as well, right? Training grounds. Game between 25 to 75 gold for every battle one. And that'll start unlocking all of this. And then we already have a workshop. Ooh, a cartographer table. Or cartographer's table. Interesting. I think we'll go with the training grounds as we can't because we don't have gold. Never mind. We'll go with jack shit. Open your map by clicking the compass icon, left the screen. Okay. I guess that means you want me to do that. Primary task is marked with the exclamation point to see what awaits your next scroll through the map. Oh my. So we are here. We got a golden chest there. Yo, let's go visit the giant doggo and people, because clearly that's accurate. 
Huh. Also, one second. My, uh... I think it's doing the thing again. The audio delay thing. We're, we're gonna try to fix that. Okay. See? Now it is much better. It just desyncs at random, my audio, and I don't know why. It's something with this mic. Has to be. Shrine. Oh, a puzzle. Oh, no. Puzzles. Time to make me look incredibly stupid. Oh, hi, Satan. Oh yeah, I forgot we can't really, like, save, per se. Is this what I pay taxes for? To be robbed along the high road? And in broad yeah. daylight, no less? Definitely what you pay taxes for. And for me lying in my pockets. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, why I'd have gone round, through Sodden. They told me, they told me. Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, damn disgrace. Were it not for mandatory merchant okay, routes and stacking whatever, rights, stop why I'd gone round through Sodden. That means morale can change. Uh, morale has no impact on your cards, whereas low morale... No, low is each unit strength out, and high morale increases... Army's current level is displayed in the icon. Okay, yeah, what is it? Change the morale depend on your choices to at the game to increase it. Make an offering at okay. Which remember after victorious battles, morale returns to neutral. Why would it return to neutral after a victorious battle? Okay, morale is high now. So I assume that means there's gonna be a yep. Gods of mercy. Whatever is this filth? Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. Oops, I think I may have accidentally skipped it, but I did my right click thing that I didn't want to do. Unique cards, okay. Uh, choop. The bandits had slit their throats, leaving the bodies to rot in the sun. They'd likely have known the stench would attract. Or they'd likely have known the scent. Okay. Well, let's do it. When do we get the Witcher cards to just uh, wreck things? What the hell is this? A unique type of card that you can only have one of in your deck at a time. Okay. I like how the battlefield changes, and there's this dude up here. Automatically appear on the battlefield at the beginning of the match. Fucking broad daylight. With the heat positively sweltering. Have we to do with some manner of sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must exercise. Here we go with weather. This was this was my type of Gwent deck, the old weather deck. Kind of fog. This one, this yeah, frost is also really annoying. Also, again, access to cards that allow you to add similar row effects. Yeah, I know. What is this? Raymond, what is this? Some spectre? A trigger? I can't be sure, Your Grace. It's the first I've seen of any such. Foglet. Thing. Destroy the highest enemy and then boost all allies by that unit. Sp oh my. That is a terrifying um, ability. How is this thing's range? We're just gonna put this you there. We'll be reaping black clad heads. Yeah, I'm not doing anything with that just yet. 
these carrion eaters. I know them. Appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first. Until, that is, they fill their guts. Seem to become quite powerful then. Use four to kind to boost the strength of one of your units. Um, excuse me, why? So that he can sit there and, um... I could do it with one of theirs. It's kind of... Oh. I bet, though, if we had that particular ability, this would be a pretty wise move. Boost one of them, then just wipe it out with that ability and absorb... That's a dastardly move. Okay, now what? That's all you wanted me to do, so he can use his ability on it. Fierce and they look true, but they bleed just as we do. Onward, slay the filth. Okay, I'm not wasting any of my things then. Twelve to nine. Yeah, we good. I yeah, know he passed. Okay, now let me pass. Yeah, but I don't want to place a card, man. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Give me it. I mean, I wanted to just save the card in the deck, isn't that? So fortunate we routed the beast before they had a chance to gorge. That's what you normally do with, uh. Oh shit. What you normally do with them, um, Gwent? You hold on to your cards. You don't want to have to top deck uh, lethal. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Your Grace, yet more come. They fill their bellies, ma. This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. Eh, we'll be fine. Do I really have to play a move every single time? Abolist at your command. Yes, yeah, it's because it's a tutorial. Strong as steers they've grown, and they show no fear. Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive, feel no pain whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground. Fall back. We can't win. Must minimize our losses. Um, I'm pretty sure we're winning pretty well. Oh, well. Never mind. That's uh, was gonna do that trick, yeah. My queen, there is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. Should have just put the four there and we could have just, uh... Yeah, I should have just placed the four there and not even screwed with it, because I probably could have actually gotten out of that. Even though it is tutorial, but it... I'm pretty sure you don't belong in my deck. Victory must be ours now. We shall not retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Look there. Yet another abomination. The oh, fuck is this? That stench. My oh. salts. Where are my salts? Synergies that exist between your cards. Yeah. Play the.
I mean, thank you, game. I, I understood this. What's its range? I think it might be best to actually play it up front. Only after enough time has passed since placing the. Okay. So I kind of don't need this tutorial to tell me every single thing to do. Just um, throwing that out there. Play an Arbalist. But what if I wanted to play him instead of an Arbalist? Oh, uh, to all units with complete. I see where this is going. I'm a monster. I don't want to use his ability yet. Why would I use his ability? I can, like, stack it. That seemed really wasteful. allows you to reactivate units order yep plate re but let me wait company forward march see my thing worked perfectly fine too Another pass your turn or play out your glorious triumph to the very end. So basically, BM is what it's saying. You know, you could win or you could just totally BM. You know, just for shits and giggles, BM. The beast hadn't a chance against us. Victory is ours. <laughs> but when do we get a card keg? Oh, yeah, let's just pull the wood right out of the stomachs. Mm. Digested wood. Oh, my beloved, or beloved rather. Please write as soon as you reach the temple. Whoops. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with thoughts of you. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering, though modest, will please the mother goddess. I guess not. With her blessing, we shall have a child at long last. I've no doubt you'll make as loving a father as husband. Please be vigilant and return to me soon. Forever yours, Frilk. What a name. Well, don't want to alarm you. That ain't happening. How do we uh, let her know the news that she's now a widow and can collect on life insurance? Hey, don't mind if I just take your wood, do you? No? Okay. Many trees we felled, my lady. Might you have need of them? So oh, yeah. Take whatever your heart desires. Oh. Well. Okay. I guess you don't mind me stealing all of your trees then. I would really appreciate a mini map. Like, my blind ass certainly needs it. But why are we finding gold in the wood, too? So 
Discovering signposts unlocks the ability to fast travel. Oh, okay. Now you move between them at any time from your regional map. Nice. Now, normally, I probably wouldn't fast travel much, but considering, you know, streaming to try to keep it interesting, because Lord knows I'm not all that interesting, um, could be uh, pretty valuable to have fast travel. Is this game good? Well, uh, welcome, by the way. And we're still in the tutorial, I guess. So, so far, if you are into card games like Gwent mixed with some like light RPG and mostly decision making and like upgrading kind of stuff elements and some exploration elements then yeah this would definitely be your kind of game uh, I feel like once we get out of the tutorial and really start to mess around with some cards and stuff we can kind of see this shine and be broken as God knows what but um yeah I think right now it's just gonna be one of those situations we're gonna have to see how it goes but so far, it seems all right. It's just that we're uh, in the tutorial. Oh, don't mind me. Just going to come into the village and steal all of your wood. Nothing to worry about here. I'm your queen. Give me the stuff. Just walk on in. You got any Scooby snacks? The lady, the masks they wear. Have you seen them? They fangs, snouts, horns, like a right proper nightmare. Lord, this is like they're um like trying to reenact something out of uh, the island of Doctor Moreau. It's also very possible. Like right now, like the exploration stuff is mostly just collecting resources, wood and gold, but uh. You know, and I'm sure it'll open up a little Soon, more once we get Queen into it. Queen and retinue arrived at Hawksburn. The men stationed there they found standing at attention, baking under the blistering noonday sun. What were they baking? Want to give me some uh, cookies? Your Majesty, Count Coldwell. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. Where's the cookies? The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet our courtesy ain't inspired them. They haven't peaked a word. Huh. Interesting. Speaking of cookies, though, I bought some cookies. Some chocolate chip cookies. And then I also bought um, some stuff to make burritos. And I made a burrito today. And that was really good. So, that was dinner. Burrito. Might it please your grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for him. Should have him jabbering right quick. I'll speak to them first. Ah, oh, here we go. Some decisions. Quest decisions. Your Majesty, for the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Oh, then why don't we have your opulent and burly self do it? Whom for? I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign, Her Majesty. Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Have mercy, Your Grace. You're not bowing. You're not guilty, simple folk. But you're not bowing. Or else. Calm your hearts, good folk. Though your queen I may be, you are subjects, not slaves. Unless you don't bow. Meave extended a hand, the royal ring gleaming upon it. Unfamiliar with protocol, a pleb gripped it firmly and gave it a shake as hearty as a good scrub in the tub. <laughs> My, we shall be addressing one another by name before long. This is an outrage! Guards, grab him! Can you keep your, your fat self out of this, I've though? I've all in hand, Caldwell. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm not accustomed, no how. Uh, is Gwent basically the entire combat system? Yeah, pretty much. There's some variations from Gwent, so it's not all Gwent, but, um, I mean, the variations still fit within the realm of card game. So if you're good at Gwent, then you'll certainly be good at, uh, this particular system. 
Now how much variety in terms of cards and abilities there are, I have no idea. Because, like I'd said earlier, when I played Gwent, I played with a uh, Weather Monster deck. So, can I get the same thing? Can we summon the Wild Hunt up in here and start throwing down ice everywhere and shit? I don't know. You ignored the entirety of Gwent and Witcher 3. How? You missed out on something huge. Also, Gwent is a standalone game as well now. I uh, remember playing the beta back when it came out. I got into the closed beta. And then I played it all the way into release as well. Until they nerfed the living shit out of my weather monster deck. Um, rip. But, um, yeah, it's a... You know, I mean, if you want just like the standalone Gwent game, you can totally get on that as well. I don't know how... Um, how active it is anymore i know back when i played it was pretty active but i don't know if like the new release of magic the gathering like totally just squelched that or or what in terms of like card game enthusiasts i never played magic i only ever for card games played gwent and um uh elder scrolls legends which i like a lot of elder scrolls legends and its diversity and shit but Always found it hard to get into just because there were so many cards and I felt like I just never could get, you know, the cards that I wanted to make a decent deck. Nonsense. You have a firm grip, a spry handshake, and a bold spirit I can respect. What do they call you, man? Helmer. Son of Florence. Delighted, Helmer. Now understand me, man. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid. So please, answer my queries in full and forthrightly. The bandits, whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call it. Hmm. My, a blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? Hopefully the kennel. Do your students know you stream? No. No, in fact, that is like one of my greatest worries is that somehow they could find that. I like to keep my personal and professional life as separate as possible. But my students, some of them, know where I live, which is even fucking scarier. I mean, just imagine having, like, with my students, be, like, knowing I st no. Just imagine if they would, like, take the recordings to the school, like, Something like this you could get fired over just because of the virtue of how I do my streams. Um, harsh language and all that bullshit. Uh, among Lord knows what else. Yeah, I do not let them know about that at all. Like, period. <laughs> that is, that is like an HR nightmare waiting to happen. At that point, might as well set up some, like, Trails of Cold Steel level, um, school academic curriculums with a trap house for new students. Which, that was fun. Maybe I'll stream more Trails of Cold Steel tomorrow. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do streaming tomorrow, because my current schedule, even though I have tomorrow off, because it's Veterans Day, um, current schedule I plan on sticking to is for me not streaming Mondays and Tuesdays. Because I'll use those days for, um, I mean, work primarily, getting ahead of planning. But then, um, Wednesday through Sundays, I do streams, so. And probably do a lot of the trail streams on, like, Fridays and Saturdays, maybe. Just so I can get more out of them. Since most of, um, my streams during the week will be, like, 7 p.m., or, um, or rather, Wednesday and Thursday, 7 p.m. to uh, uh, 10 p.m. probably, just because I'm going to need to freaking sleep. And I usually don't get home from work until 6. Did I recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Glutton? Clayton. Oh. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. <laughs> we call him Lord Glutton, though. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady, I'll be no higher for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. 
Uh, yeah, Cold Steel 3 and 4. I've seen some things from 3 and seen some things from 4 that, uh, Falcom's posted. Um, currently, I am streaming, uh, Cold Steel 1 with the Japanese voices so that I can do the English voices. Um, that's gonna be a shit show. Uh, especially during the beginning because I don't, um... I don't really have a like a firm grasp on the the character's character, essentially. So once I get more into it, we just finished the prologue yesterday. Um, once I get more into it, then I can probably get the voices to be a little more differentiated and better. Um, but uh, I, I definitely made sure to find a way to. Uh, still get my voice acting in because that I personally find hilarious and dumb uh so it was very very good that surprise that Xseed presented with the uh, addition of the Japanese voiceovers so you get the professional voicing and then there you go never forget that Osborne is an antagonist in Sky oh I know Pretty sure he's an antagonist in um, Cold Steel, probably, as well. People can get caught up on Crossbell before then and not confused and spoiled. I don't think people are going to, though. I think um, until there's an uh, official release of the Crossbell games, I don't think people are going to do that. I know I'm not. I've been reading the manga. I read the, uh, the manga about Lo just the other day, just yesterday, I think. And I plan on reading the, like, Toval and Estelle and Joshua manga just to get some ideas of what's going on maybe in Crossbell. But other than that, unless there's going to be a formal release from Xseed on um, the Crossbell games, I'm probably not going to play a fan translation of them. A lot of people are playing the patches if you look up the Falcon forums. Um, I mean, I guess. I think a lot more would jump into them once there's an official release. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm holding out hope that if Cold Steel 3 and 4 go well, then we'll get Crossbell games. If they localize and localize well, I assume 3 is in the works. Like, I doubt they're going to say, well, you know, we, we gave you 1 and 2 and we're not going to give you the rest. So, who knows. But, pretty sure we have, uh, we'll have 3 and then 4 and hell... Maybe if that's good, we'll get the Crossbell games to come out, and those can fill the interim, or interim rather, um, between, you know, Cold Steel and the next iteration of the, the Trails series, which I assume Trails in the Sky series will be, uh, or, yeah, just Trails series rather, not Trails in the Sky. Um, I assume the next iteration is going to be the last, because I'm pretty sure after Cold Steel 4, they're like, what? 70 to 75 percent done with the trail story you doubt we'll get crossbelt even if three and four sells well those two are a different beast orc wise than sky three yeah but they did sky second chapter as well i assume it's on par with second chapter now granted second chapter almost like led people to suicide because of how, and I'm, that's not even an exaggeration, um, because of how much the workload was, but I think being conscious of that going in and not being blindsided like they were with Sky uh, Second Chapter, I think it's completely manageable. They just need to, to convince Falcom that it's worth the monetary investment. That, that's my take on it. Obviously, I'm not there. I don't know all the stuff. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Oh, okay. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? Thanks. I, I have to shut it now. Choices will have consequences. Some may be felt immediately. This may take time. Oh, no. Leave them be. Cold Steel 3 has more script than the second chapter, and so does Azure. I think so does Cozio 4, and you think Zero comes close to that, it's a huge investment. That's where I really think, I think that's proving my point, that if Cold Steel 3 sells well, and Cold Steel 4 sells well, if they're both comparable, or uh, comparable rather, 
to Ao and Zero, then I think from there, like, that's a good sign that, hey, we can make these ones and they'll sell well as well. So, and especially since they have, like, more Estelle and Joshua in there. Um, granted, they're not the main characters. But, yeah, I think I still am holding to my prediction that if Sen 3 and 4 do well, then we might get the Crossbelt games. It, it is a slim chance, but, I mean, there's still that chance. I think it's still there. Leave them be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Oh, my lady. Thanks be to you. Thanks be. I pray Mother Melita may watch over your kind heart. And then she stabs you in the back. Or she does, like, some fucking Morgan Le Fay shit and sends you uh, a cloak to strangle you. Pray she watches over yours. Should I hear of oh, you they didn't like bandits it. again, of you lying to my officers, I shall return and put torch to every hut, field, and orchard. Understood. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mouth knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. Well, I just made my uh, morale hit low, so I'll just go fuck myself now. You might have your lives, but I get your wood. Ooh, what's this? A new marker is added, really? Ooh, there's a puzzle and a point of interest. That's a notice board. I'm expecting like some Witcher 3 kind of quests to go on. So what's the trail here? Could we like go up there? I, mean, I see plenty of shit, but I don't see a means to getting up there. And there's like bridges and shit. Oh wait, well, never mind. Yeah, I do. We go down here, then down there, and then we can turn up here and explore this way. Cool symbols, bro. The moon runes. Great source of information about what's happening in the area. Click on them will cause markers to appear in the regional map. Cool. What is this, Reynard? Bandits attacking royal tax collectors in broad daylight. Well, fuck the they tax shall man. Pay dearly, your grace. They shall indeed. And not only they. Rot has crept into Lyria, Reynard. My kingdom has been poorly kept. Well, you. Your subjects humbly request aid. I can remember they call themselves. His axle snapped and they need to hurry to the market. Does that mean like morale will go up or? Okay. I think that would have affected morale negatively. I'm very confused. Oh, yeah, it would have made morale go up. I'll just go fuck myself. Surf Paul was found inside the dwelling. He was wounded during the siege. Da -da -da -da. Abandoned his comrades. The location of their spoils he's offered to share, that is, is for his life. We'll find it on our own. We need our morale to go up. Though, granted, I don't think our morale can go any lower than low, so... How the hell do we get in there? No, let me in. Oh, puzzle. <sighs> that rumble. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! We fighting rocks now, my dude? Fucking Geo dude just came on in. 
destroy all bo- Okay, I'll, I'll admit, this is different than I was expecting. In a flash, Reynard leapt for Meeve, wrestling the queen from her saddle. Had he arrived a moment later, Meeve would have met her fate under a massive boulder. Oh, nice. Alas, she was not yet free from danger. Rip her horse, by the way. Uh, the entire inc the escarpment had begun to collapse onto the road, along with the temple wall that stood atop it. The screams of crushed and dying soldiers cast a somber shadow for the queen. Yet she needed to collect her wits and act quickly to establish control over her unit. <laughs> you know, let's just take a pickaxe to him and start breaking the rocks in immense rage. Only last one round. Some battles are subject to special rule sets. Strength alone is not enough to win. To be victorious, you must complete specific goals. On the expiration max, that's battles marked for a puzzle icon, okay. Destroy all the bullets before they reach me use a row. The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Your grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. What now? I think I can figure out what now. You're far fewer than I presumed. Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop chop! Before I reach for my whip. Can I? Okay, no, I can't. Ooh. That could be very interesting. <laughs> Give me a time. Use the wagon now! Son, I don't need you telling me. <sighs> We've come through Reynard. I kind of predicted you. that would be the easy way to do it anyways. Boost an ally, but... <laughs> the walls of the temple collapsed. The buttress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's not we can do here. We ride on. Well, I guess that was a thing. Also, hold on. I don't know why the uh, the thing does the thing. Why it uh is so weird like that and does the uh, oops I just hit the wrong button like an asshole. Um. Why it desyncs like this, the microphone that is. That's what I was fixing there. Time to just loot some villages. But yeah, going back to cold steel and everything. Um, I'm hopeful that Crossbell will be released. I know there's a lot of speculation one way or another about it, and it's easy to... fuck's about to go on here. It's easy to lose hope and say it won't, but, um... A peasant cart, loaded with a heap of hay, came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! Bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. A thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Sweet? Gods. Who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, my lady, replied the cartman. Twere a beast. Oh, we getting Out some good east, stuff. Down Wetterton Way lies a barnyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. 
Clayton was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us, drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. We've taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on Bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will, replied the Queen. Though just looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. Rip. So Grave Hag came on out and started shredding. Queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, your grace? Caldwell <laughs> asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Grace, we've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formulae. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen <laughs> said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. Damn, we'll just, um... As, um, what is it, Vesemir said, soldiers always, uh, screwing things up and not hiring a professional to do this stuff. Here ends the main part of the tutorial. From now on, you're on your own. Oh! Here we go. We got achieved, too. We are on our own now. There's a puzzle... We got some stuff up here. Got some loot. This could be interesting. Let's go kill a pig. After Wetterton, are ye? Bonnet to no. Just the folk could be on shite. This sounds like there's a goddamn riot over here. As they neared Wetterton, the Queen ordered her company to halt. She then sent men to the town for supplies. Those sent returned more quickly than she'd assumed they would. Their satchels empty, their mounts foaming at the mouth. Your Majesty! The townsfolk have gone right mad. Herded all the elves and dwarves at Market Square. Tis a slaughter. The queen knew well that if she failed to intervene, the town's streets would flow with non-human blood. Just as she knew her meager force might not subdue an Can only flow of human, yo. Uh, fuck it. What is your command, your grace? Reynard's question pierced the silence. What can it be, dear friend? Answered the queen, then spurred her mount and rode off towards the town. This is going to be her interesting. Followed, running as fast as their legs would carry them. When they passed inside the town gate, they saw corpses lining the gutters. Meave realized she had arrived too late to prevent a tragedy. The crowd was drunk on blood. Its rage would need to be quelled with an iron fist. Up oh, here we go. Finally, we get a non-tutorial thing, though it's still giving us a custom fucking deck. This was not Lyria's first uh, pogrom, nor its last. Although the wars between humans and elven races had ended decades past, elves and doors were still painfully aware of how quickly rumor can turn to hatred. It does not take long before pitchforks and flails are taken to the streets, and cobblestones are stained crimson with blood. Eliminate Alpha. Ooh, so this is gonna be slightly different. This is like a puzzle one. Step away, or see your heads bounce down the cobblestones! Spawn two light infantry on the right. What do these assholes do? Equal to the number of angry mo- Oh my. I think we do this one. Try 
try. We got we gotta do some math here, folks. If we do this, uh, I've got a few ideas. Oh, she's not here. Shit. So if we do this, he'll um. He'll have like what one just from appearing on the row, or maybe not. We do this, do that, and then do that again. Is my guess. Raynard, who started this? I must know. So much hatred. We must put a stop to it. Can't take it. What do these do? Damage a random enemy by five. Damage a random enemy by five. I don't know what death with how to how to activate death wish oh fuck that was a waste her majesty is we must strike the largest clusters disperse the mob well we done fucked this one folks Okay, so that was not how that I expected we'll that to work. Down the Interesting. I don't know how to do the death wish thing, though. Like I assume that needs to be there. Raynard, who started this? I must know. So much that becomes hate. six. We must put a stop to it. it. Has no armor, so it can't do anything. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Does that technically count as depleted order? Because if we can move them in and out of the... Company! We must strike the largest clusters! Disperse the mob! See, we can only get that to five, though. Fuck. Yeah, it's only gonna get the five. We can't get any further than that. That's also a rip. Huh. First Step actual non-tutorial we'll puzzle. And we look like fucking idiots.
tiny devils. I'm hungry like a wolf I am. How do we death wish though? That's the, the real question I want to know here. It's nice to know that we have these random things in a deck that we can't use. There's two units. We deploy, give charge. Wait, so does it have to be in the hold the fort? Does it have to be in the row? We must trust no, it doesn't. I'm a dumbass. Doesn't have to be in the row. Easy. That's where I, I messed it up. I thought he had to be in the same row for it. I'm just a dumbass. Happily, Neve restored order without suffering any losses. Reynard then learned that a nobleman's ire had triggered the violence. Ire at having discovered a theft. Suspicion fell on the non-humans he employed. He accused them, they protested, and the row soon engulfed the town. But there's something else, Your Grace. Reynard gestured towards an aged man who stood grieving, his face in his hands. I've witnesses who claim the strays of Sparla are the thieves. Though the tragedy seemed the result of a misunderstanding, justice would have to be served. Those responsible for the slaughter would need to be punished. The question Hold them was, down. How severely? Well, you just had a fucking massacre. How severely do you think? No, they need to be, like, executed. Your excuses I cannot accept, said the queen. The vipers who called for the slaughter, they will hang. The rest... Majesty! A townswoman fell to Meave's feet. Mercy, please! were words taken wrong, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? To don another's cape, pay out insufficient change, these are misunderstandings. What happened here was criminal, and you'll be punished as criminals. Agreed. Put them down, folks. The condemned were hanged at once, without regard to the protests of kith and kin. Those non-humans who had managed to hide and survive made a most generous donation in gold to bolster the Queen's force. I'd like See? to say Wetterton's small melting pot of races lived on in harmony. Yet alas, I'm not in the habit of propagating untruths. Hmm. Well, our morale just went to shit, but time to loot. Looks like you had some wood on you. Some stuff there. Another point of interest here. We're definitely gonna have to upgrade and get some like, cards and shit. You guys, uh, a little concerned here. Now, what do you gotta say? Good folk today, ma'am. And for what? Because they came to the end of their tether. Hey, yeah, you wanna join them, dickhead? Time to check the old camp. Yes, Your Grace? Nothing. Time I attended to other matters. Loading deck. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot to, uh, build here. So I'm not gonna worry about that. It's more of upgrading stuff here, if anything. Pr 
creating a forager's quarters to then go into this. Or just, have we already start? Oh, we haven't even built the training grounds? Yeah, we haven't even built this. Wow. Enables you to recruit new combat units in the command tent. Yep, there we go. Vivian Pikeman. Herald study. Gain one recruit after every battle won. That's pretty useful. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting some darkest dungeon vibes from this for sure. Yeah, you're new. You're new. You don't have any more copies. Oh, I know I don't have any more copies of this card, but... What's the pikeman do again? Summons all copies of this unit. And we have two of them in there. Huh. Yeah, those tricks are actually pretty good. What is our inventory exactly? Ah, just that mess. So one of the things I've always enjoyed about the Witcher universe from what I've played of it is that it, uh, ooh, has caves. No, um, that it does give you quite a bit of moral decisions. Um, and in doing so, um, it, I don't know, it, it brings a lot of interesting things to the table in doing so, the moral conundrum. There's never really a right or wrong answer, per se. I mean, sometimes, sure, but, like, the situation we had there, and to hang or not hang, I mean, there's, uh, there's always a, a interpretation to it, and I think that there are some people who like the sort of, you know, there is a black and white, good and evil, superhero versus enemy kind of thing. But I tend to find myself aiming more towards um, the grayscale, if you will. Uh, Uncle's Clan and Treasure is hidden in the cave. Attachment to learn the truth rumor. Yeah, we need gold. Two bad little crutes never made it back out alive. But, um, yeah, I tend to like the morally gray stuff. And I know there are people, again, who like the black and white stuff. The, you know, there is good in the world and there is evil in the world. And we should... I'm fucking terrified to fight that. Um, and we should, you know, focus on the good and have clear differences for moral teachings... But I tend to be of the belief that the best moral teachings come from simply understanding that things are not always, you know, black and white. This thing is going to kick my ass. The Lyrians entered the graveyard. Crickets chirped in its tall, windswept grass, and lush green moss covered its crumbling gravestones. Only a fresh bloodstain upon a mausoleum wall suggested that something disturbed the dead in their rest and hunted the living. Save your tears, throw off your grief. An eerie voice sang, its ghastly lament standing Meave's hair on end. Soon your life too shall see. As you pass into the Ass. eternal glow. 
A pockmarked, pustule-ridden creature crawled out from behind some gravestones. It vaguely resembled a shriveled, hunchbacked hag, until its head split into two halves, forming oh. a tooth-spiked maw. Attack! Everyone! Hanging titties. To shorten up, and we've got ourselves a, um... A puzzle battle again. Called it a mourner. She elf driven men. No. No, they're they're a bit different than that, man. See, and it's also interesting, like the misinformation stuff. This is something I really like in literature that can happen. Is that from different perspectives of different characters, you know, obviously the peasants would misunderstand and have their own um interpretations for what that creature is where a holy shit we just have to kill this one whereas a um a witchima bob someone who's more trained like a witcher in this case would clearly know no these aren't just you know some random elven bitch who went crazy it's just you know something else some sort of demon every two turns on turn start to destroy the lowest units well hopefully that's those ones We just have to kill the hag, so if we can go boom, boom. Uh, hold on. I have an idea. It's this is gonna be called bait. We need to use these guys as bait, essentially. Drop them there. Um, damage all units on this row by four. So we drop this one there. Then we drop that. Then we. I drop this again or er, I'm trying to think yet yeah. drop you drop that this one dies drop this drop that that one dies drop this makes duplicates kills ah, should have listened to me old lady and yeah, probably because you're about to die buddy see cuz now he has one We, we can't hit this thing? It's immune. Okay, that's a slight issue. That maybe puts a slight kink into the plan. Okay, you're gone. As expected. This office will be reaping black clad hands. Okay. Time I taught you some respect. Give me a time. Still can't hit. Oh, yeah, see, here we go. Dead. Easy. There's a puzzle I actually win what? first time around. What was that filth? The queen croaked hoarsely as the dying monster writhed in agony at her feet. I know not, your grace, replied Reynard. But to be safe. I would have the corpse chopped up and burned. Elsewise, we will not be certain it shall not return. Yes, have it done, Meave said, brushing her hair from her beaded brow. But quickly, lest dust catch us in this foul place. The Lyrians soon resumed their march. As they left the cemetery behind them, some believed they still heard the haunting dirge upon the air. Or was it just the wind whistling past mossy tombstones? That is such like a Poe or Hawthorne kind of ending to a story. I love it. This card has been added to your army and can be found. Ooh. Well, that's cool. 
Man tent, you can change Meave's equipped weapon. Oh, it's changing her ability to do this. Select Meave in the upper left corner of the panel and place one of the available cards in your deck. Okay. Let's let's do that. Meave is using longsword right now. Boost an ally by four and give it one armor. Then trigger all allies' loyal ability. <laughs> Move a card in your deck to the top and strengthen it by three. Then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. Huh. This seems way too specific for what I am capable of with my current deck. I'm going to hold off of it and go with the more simplified long sword with its more immediate results. Like the, the hammer seems like it requires a lot of foresight and probably a little more um, synergy with the... Oh no, there was so much wood on that ag. Uh, yeah, probably requires a little more synergy with the uh, the deck for that to be pulled off for maximum efficiency. No, get over the stoops. Don't mind me, chapel people. Just taking all your wood. Uh, destroyed greys belong to an elven mage. Sufficient resources. Uh, whatever. We got a... Oh, I know what that is. That's the warhorn. Yeah, that is. That is worth the money. That is very much worth the money. Nice shitheads. You guys still, um, acting like assholes? wankers I like that I can literally just play this game one-handed you know could be down there scratching my nut sacks with my other uh, sacks plural um oh I missed some loot yeah I like I can completely do this one-handed it's actually pretty freaking awesome oh wait I see wood yes grab the wood through the fence And while you're at it, grab a chicken and a pig. Oh, we were already up there. We could theoretically fast travel, but I'm an asshole, so no. We'll fast travel our way back. Just gotta make sure no wood goes, um, unstolen. At least it doesn't cost anything to fast travel. I want to go up and explore this way. And pay homage to the gods. You no. Be rewarded. We kneel to no one. Melitale watches over us all. Yet you do well to remind her through supplication. Um. There is ever time for prayer, even as war rages all around. Nah, actually, we're gonna have to not pray. Ooh, there's a battle there. A point of interest. Some loot. Let's go check out the normal battle. Or maybe it's a normal battle. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? Yeah, I feel like this is definitely a very slow, like, chill game to stream. Pick the lock, asshole. 
Also, we had a victorious battle, didn't we? Shouldn't our morale be higher? Or... I guess because it's a puzzle, it doesn't matter. Nice farm Traveling lands. the high road, they heard the bells of a temple to Mother Melitale, situated at some distance. Neve turned towards Reynard. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall, Your Grace. The Queen's brow darkened. Her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me. Oh, okay. Interesting. So there's a delay on me hearing myself, but if I'm to look at OBS, there is no delay between my voice and um, anything there. And I think that might be something new with OBS Studio. So even though I'm hearing myself on a slight delay, there's no delay. Fascinating. Stained glass shards glinted in the grass. Bits of down ripped from quilts wafted through the air. The priestesses gathered in the yard were seeing to wounded pilgrims, setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Sparla fell upon us. Sighed the prioress. Stole the offerings, the monstrances, the holy books. Should have prayed no harder. I implore you, come to our aid. Recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever, Meave scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. The perfect place to hide or to lie in ambush. It's all come clear now. Sabotage. It was the bandits who weakened the walls. Well, we'll just be taking the rest of your fields, like I was gonna say. Wheel ruts. The strays, no doubt. They must be nearby. Okay. Oh! Yeah. On second thought, I'm very glad I didn't go over there. Like I was going to say, uh, they had nice fields. Would have been unfortunate if something were to happen to them. But apparently something already did, so again, I'll just go fuck myself. Uh, so, lady, how's that praying working out for you? The ravaged statues of the good mother, how dare they? Y you tell them, tell them the place, Thebes. Okay, morale up, we certainly need that. Uh, we lose gold, though, it's really unfortunate. Oh, it's giving us more of that. Morale is neutral again, though we are losing gold a lot, which is slightly unfortunate. Thought that was a thing there. We're getting close to something now. The bandits had pitched camp in a nearby wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they'd stolen from the cloister cellar. <laughs> the brigands had not posted them sacraments. Another round to the sisters. <laughs> Neve's soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished. Yet only the queen could order the assault. Well, why wouldn't we order the assault? Like, what are we gonna order? You know what? School. Let's go in and party with them. High time we put these strays on a leash. Spat the queen, spurring her horse. Two arms. Follow me. Tankards clattered to the ground as the strays reached for their weapons. Brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. Nah, they reached for another pint while they were at it. Short and bad. God damn it. Prevent three gold wagons from escaping. Okay, 
right, how do we prevent three gold wagons from escaping? I just want to get to, like, a regular card battle, man. Choose a card to redraw. Beginning of a round, you can redraw up to six cards. Get rid of the cards from your hand that you don't wish to play. Okay. Play a random ally from your graveyard. Why, well, I only need one of those. Um, summon all copies of this unit. Uh-huh. I don't think I have a blitz unit, to be honest, but... Let's do this. Okay, but how do I do that? Wish. Oh, well, I guess I'll go fuck myself. After two turns on turn start, escape. Laria! Oh, that has armor. Shit. Ooh, well, we fucked this up already, I'm pretty sure. My favorite cut of lamb, the shank. Can't take it anymore. Yeah, that thing's escaping. You might have got away had you not been falling so Regroup! <sighs> Tell me you jest. Probably should have played that earlier, to be honest. The mist's gonna pass me those lovely earrings, or do I tear them off myself? Two turns on start. Escape, so it has nine. Interesting. Yeah, we really fucked this up. Just throwing that out there. Okay, that gives it two. It's gonna get three right there. We just need to pull out one of these to at least take on that. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Okay. It's a minor issue. Which one's about to escape? The horse thief or the the field wagon? Plunder field wagon. After two turns, this thing escapes. This only has two, though. You should be able to... Oh, it's just row. Okay, so that one's gone. Mark a unit after three turns and start a turn. Switch its power if this unit's power. Interesting.
guess we're just gonna do that temporarily. Oh, that's a dick move. Stick them up. High as the clouds. Now. When Meave uses our ability, we cool down by move to the other row. Okay. This thing has nine. One bolt. Uh, this thing still has a cooldown. I should have moved that, so I can move back. Who the fuck are you? A spy? For two turns on turn start, boosts up with the power of the unit to the right. Oh, that's very, uh, helpful for me, actually. Not sure what you expected to get from that. You still can't attack, which is a problem. Um, fuck. Is the best way I see this. Um, just a massive fuck. What does this mean? Play the top blitz unit from your deck. Okay. Can't put anything more there, so I guess we're playing this. Again and again and again. Yeah, we don't have a blitz unit. The hell you mean? No time for that. I don't. Yet, does it have? Uh... Okay. Should have listened to me, old lady. Yeah, I'm not. If unless it has another thing that it can shit, and it does. I've hit the white of an eye from our bully to where. This is a goddamn insane battle going on here. Boost a unit by ten. Okay. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Guess we have no choice. Not really sure what I'm expecting out of this. Bigger they are, easier they are to touch. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I'll go fuck myself then, I guess. So do I have to then win and okay, interesting. Three of you, a bunch of war wagons, and then you, which needs to be a thing. Um, yeah, we'll take this. We'll, we'll try this one. So there's that that shows up, and then this, which, fucking, how much, damn it, does five? It's better off bringing the damn war wagon. I'll relieve you of that pouch. You cunt. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. 
No, I don't want that one though. Which one does this mean? Play a random ally from your grave. Right? Well, we're fucked again. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Hmm. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. In silver. Regroup! Yeah, this is gonna be a slight issue. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Motherfucker, these things are... Mm-mm-mm. Gotta be able to get this thing out, man. Guy battles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. Dude, there's a reason why I'm setting this up. Yeah, that thing's gonna go. That's a really annoying thing. You might have got away had you not been falling so damn much. We have no choice but to play this. Okay, you need to go because you're going to start screwing with things. Fuck out, ass is moving. That was really dumb because that's gonna motherfucker. I misread that like a dumbass. Fucking stupidity in like a million turns. I'm a Not gonna kill. Isn't that just like instant defeat? That's been three of them. I haven't touched a single one of them, yeah. Fuck. This is gonna be this in a nutshell. Fucking puzzle battles. Okay, I don't want that. What are you? Have each adjacent unit from your deck. No. Are you shitting me? place that first because this thing can delete it basically unless maybe I put it in the back if I just put this in the back maybe it can't hit it or we just instantaneously make this thing more powerful Okay, there we go. That at least protects that. 
<laughs> Can't do anything with it, though. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Have an idea. If I can place him in between that, we might have a, a chance here. He's gonna place another one of these fire pricks, isn't Looking he? To dance, mate. This cunt. A lesson in humility coming now. Can't take it anymore. Then what if we put this in the front to start the build up um positions in the front for our arbalists? It's only going to unleash four, which isn't going to be enough. Yeah, one's going to escape. You can Expected. In one of two ways. In silver. Regroup! Who'd this prick mark? This one, huh? It's unfortunate. Three there, three there, and then two. So we technically have eight. We could wipe out an eight with this, which is fairly good. Ah, uh, there's not a reason why. Okay, and she can give armor. You're at five for a whole entire line right now. This can be very useful. We've got some plans for this. That shows up. That's fine. Hey. Okay, you're at six for the whole line. Still hit for eight. Maria! Wipes almost all of that out. Is this asshole's left fair enough? We can handle that. Coin in his pockets or his old. You can do four to that line, which might be damn worth it at this point. Got a couple of ideas, though. Left, right, left. Right. Uh, you sound real enthusiastic, buddy. This would hit a six. I don't think we need to wait, honestly. We do that, we wipe those out. 
we hit this with an arbalist. And at this point, we can already start charging one of the, uh, one of the guys. You might have got away had you not been falling so damn much. One bolt's all I need. I got two there. No time for that. Interesting. Could wipe out an eight, or we could wipe this guy out. At this point, I think it's more beneficial to wipe this one out. Ah! Yeah, because he's getting slammed anyways. Actually, I should that's a misclick. I should have did this one first. Damage random, yeah, that would have been better. The, oh shit. I can't order anymore. Damn. That's a problem. No, pop, pop. They're, like, they're gaining armor, but they're not. Fuck, which means I couldn't get rid of that. That's a problem. No one yet needs our stuff. Willing and how, but these dumb boots are killing me. I'm actually gonna give it to them because I don't want them to get too large so that one of these assholes takes anything. So we literally just make him stronger. That's a massive. Ever a storm knock out one of your teeth? What's in the graveyard? Well, don't really have much I can do with that. Can move people around, but that's about it. Should still win, right? There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was actually a good one. That that required some thought. The Queen's company defeated the bandits and oh, recovered the bond. loot. Silver chalices. Whoops. Reliquaries lined with mother of pearl. Gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be grateful to have their treasures returned, Your Grace. They would pray ardently for your victory. Reynard opined. Yet, you could also keep the silver, expended on the war effort. And who's to say which, prayer or coin, would be more useful? Huh. I'm not even sure which one would be better. You would think for her people you'd want to return the the coin. That would end up better that regards. But then there's the uh the fact that we need gold. Pray ardently for your victory. Great. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm much more secular in nature. This seems like the uh, the better situation. Melita Lay will understand. One Me evil answer, in favor of another. After a moment's consideration. Then she ordered the Abbey's treasures loaded onto her wagons. As they went on their way over uneven ground, each clink and clank reminded the queen that to save her realm, she had stolen from the gods. Fuck them. And morale drop. <laughs> God damn it. Look, man. Wealth. Wealth and power. Yeah, we'll deal with you in a second. We got a loot, buddy. Sure, you can bind a rabid dog, tie his four legs together, but you'll not stop him from lashing out and biting. Uh, yeah, but then you can just kick him in the nuts, and that'll deal with that. My dearest strays, once you've relieved, yeah, relieved the pious priestesses of their unnecessary baubles, make your way south to the estate of Lord Clayton. Words got around he's raised quite the sum for the dowry of his not-so-comely daughter. But can love truly be built upon a mount of coin? I think not. Let's save the poor lad from an unhappy marriage, shall we? You duke of dogs, earl of mutts, high king of huckleberries, his trampy highness, his sparky lordship. Gee. It's actually just God angry that we stole. Is there something over here? Nope. And more stuff that can be done at the command tent. I like that we have a shit ton of arbalists, to be honest. Training grouds. Practice and improve your skills against an AI point. No. Anyone want to talk about how evil I am? Gain a recruit after every battle one, or gain 25 to 75 gold for every battle one. Just spying restraint deploy. Set the power of each unit on this row to the average of all units' power. Then destroy self. Interesting. Destroy the unit to the right and boost self by its power. If it's an artifact, boost self by current power instead? Huh. That is a very useful card to have. I mean, I guess that's cool. Just so you can speed shit up, but I'm not really bothered by the movement speed, to be honest with you. Maybe later on in the game, there's like a need for it. Right now, it seems like, do we want this or do we want that? And gold, I feel like, is going to be more of an issue for us than recruits right now. Well, I don't know. We do seem to be getting a lot of gold. We're not getting a lot of recruits. So, maybe we want to rethink that a bit. I do like this trap and forager um, card, though. None of resources. How much resources does it take? Oh, 750 wood. 
Maybe we hold off then and go collect some wood. Because I've got some ideas to remove our... Um... Oh, wait a minute. That thing never comes back to your hand, though, does it? Or your uh, side. Maybe it's not as good as I think it is. I'll have to think about that one. Because if that, if that place is there and it doesn't come back to you, then you're just kind of giving the enemy um, power. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one a bit. There's a puzzle up there. Let's go uh, puzzle it out. Yeah, give me the wood and gold that's apparently attached in there. If only getting money were that easy. What is this, locked? Dude, you're the queen. Just, like, put your royal foot to the door and uh, knock it down. Oh, well, there's the key. Time heals all wounds, they say. That memories fade. That the nightmares would end and my pain would cease. Yet... Eight years have passed since I left the world behind. Not but prayer, confession, and reflection. I wonder still how my life might have been different had I refused that last mug of ale. Had I noticed a child. Had I pulled back on the reins more quickly. I prayed for forgiveness once. Now I pray only for an end. May it come swiftly. Remember, kids, suicide's not the answer. Unless you drink too much and run an asshole over with your horse. <laughs> and we open the door just to literally tear the whole thing down and steal all of the wood. Good. Nice. Yeah, I really do like the art style of this game. It's uh it's pretty nice. Um But there's loot over here, so uh Sorry, sister, but you're gonna have to wait for me to collect some wood. Hey, we have enough wood to build that thing now. Still might hold off just to get a little extra to, uh, have a buffer. The dead as they rest are disturbed. Something digs up their graves, opens their tombs. Ah. Huh. You? You hungry? Oh, it's a ghoul. Ghoul, you're gonna have to wait. I need wood. What's dead is dead. Find a cart. There's a desiccation for this place. Eh, we could raise that up, or we could get the. Go I mean, is the morale really gonna go any lower? Yeah, morale can't go any lower. Fuck it. Hey, ghoulie. Yep, custom deck. Think it'll work out. Special rules, shortened battle, and a puzzle. The sacred cemetery had once been an oasis of peace, a place of prayer, reflection, and meditation. Alas, necrophages now scuttle among exhumed graves and human bones litter its grounds. The priestess believed the beast's sudden appearance heralded some impending woe. Yet in what form? What fate awaited Lyria and its people? Weaken each enemy by one power. Okay. Ooh, we have a decoy. I can see where this can get interesting.
You can try to win them all, but you won't. Yeah, let's see how this is gonna work. One gold. Oh wait, is it weaken it by one power or two one? Oh, two one. Okay. I can see where this might be a minor issue. <laughs> Instant lose because you killed it. Nope. You can't kill the monster. We have to weaken it and then befriend it. Okay. This is going to require some uh, work. That's three. Drop him down. Pull another one out. We'll make seven. Shit. This can be... We can't just do that because we'll actually kill it. We'll end up killing them once we start placing the arbalists down. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be really tricky. I think we have to open, though, with, um, the cart. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. So we open with the cart. Wait a minute. We can move these out of the... Okay. I'm, I'm having an idea here. If you insist. Play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. But we don't have a copy. You can try to win them all, but you won't. And there's six. I'm a one, sir. There's seven. Lyria! And this is literally how we're going to have to do it. Okay, not too difficult. There we go. It's interesting because it pretty much teaches you like certain strategies for the games. It's nothing like too difficult necessarily, except some of them were kind of challenging already. But um, they do just teach you some certain strategies that you can use in the uh, in the game. Because imagine if you had you know the enemies to one, and then, and I don't know if this is the same in this game as opposed to normal Gwent, um, what is it, Pestilence or something? Um, you, you can basically wipe out enemies at one HP completely. It wipes out the weakest enemy. So, one HP enemy, and you just wiped out like three of them. Hello, chest. 180 gold will do. I think we have enough now to make our, um, our workshop to get our forgers. So what is this? So restraint. Des deploy. Destroy the unit to the right and boost self by its power. If it's an artifact, boost self by its current power set. So that could go on to your own line or, I assume, an enemies. So my guess then is Death Wish. So Death Wish, I assume, is when the enemy, or not the enemy, the card itself dies. It's like a last breath thing from, um, 
the Elder Scrolls legend, so when it dies, it triggers an effect. If we could do that then on our, um, is it the wagon summons? What, yeah, whatever kid does the five damage, this could be kind of useful in the deck. I, st I still think this is a worthy upgrade here. Certainly worth the investment. I definitely want to see what I can do with it. Yeah, this is just summon all copies. We can remove you and then jump into... Where the hell is it? This one and try to... You don't... I know I don't have copies, stupid. Ooh. But you'd only be able to get one. That wouldn't be enough. Because we don't have enough... Shit. We'll have to wait. Oh, we wouldn't have enough cards if we did that. Your Majesty, you return. Our prayers have been answered. May the Mother Goddess watch over you. Yeah, she might not do that much anymore since I, um... Maybe, uh, robbed her a bit. Just, just, just a little. I mean, it wasn't a huge robbery. Just, just a teensy robbery, it's all. It's, no worries. Oh, that was a nice, uh, stutter. Don't mind me, priest. Just uh, walking through with your gold. Nothing to see here. Mm -mm -mm. And hey, we're back to neutral. Still can't get in there. And it's probably for the best, to be honest. We got a puzzle down there. Um, yeah, that looks puzzling, for sure. What the flying fuck is that? It's just like a head. Man, where's the body? Eliminate all drowners. Do not let allies die. Ooh. It takes us one damage to turn an even into an odd. Huh. Meave stood on the banks of Badger Run, a modest river with a strong current and dark reputation. Fishing boats overturned, cloves ripped from the hands of water wa washerwives, children playing on the banks swept away in a flash. The locals have long suspected that something malicious resides underneath those raging waters. Like the slight audio delay that I'm hearing. There we go. We interrupt your, um, scheduled broadcast to fix the audio, like, ow. And then there's, like, a random crackle. Okay, so there's gotta be something to go on with even and odd, um, numbers, if they're giving me that hint. Minute all drowners. If this unit's power is even... Switch rows and damage all units on the opposite row by two. Ooh. have an idea here. I play this. Hit those, right? I play one of these. Um, fuck, it has tough armor.
That would summon three. Three subtract, I would take it to one. Pull that back. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna stick with this idea. It may or may not work. It's no big deal right now. Um... That's what I need. Lyria! Now they aren't moving. might honestly just be a uh, a turn waster so that it'll damage this how much damage this does damage all units on the opposite row by two yeah I legit need a turn waster here Maybe I didn't? Hold on. Carny Vettles. Hungry like a wolf I am. They're not moving anymore. Go wait, what? Wait, I have to actually kill these shit. Eliminate. I'm a dumbass. This is gonna require some actual planning now. Um, we place the wagon, right? So we place the wagon. Then we pull back the wagon and place it again to have two wagons. It's not gonna work. I think this was the right call. We just screwed up in ordering. Somewhere along the lines, the ordering was not right there. Shit. Okay, that's not great, to be entirely honest. Carny vettles, hungry like a wolf I am. It's still not good. It's 
So now they're all two, but... <laughs> yeah, that's a get fuck, son. Okay, we're gonna have to actually really plan this. Problem is that this thing will do four on the first turn. So this, the, one of these has to be the, the actual one that we use here. The exact row doesn't even really matter. And yeah, we lost one, so that can't be shit. That's the same issue I ended up in last time. Give me a time. Okay. shoot one of them here so that only one ever switches. <laughs> Abolista, your command. Problem is it does two to each person and these things have only two. That's the that's the big problem here. dead shit hold on that nah, doesn't matter he'll die you won't move to the back so he'll at least live but he'll come forward and kill you so we lose no matter what yeah Okay. 
Okay, one damage there. Now he's about to take two straight to the scrotum, so that's not gonna work. They're all gonna go to the back, and then these are all gonna go to the front. The problem is, how the hell do you kill them at this point? Fucking dead. God damn it. Should have placed it in the front. Maybe. Damn. This one is definitely tricky. Cause you can't you can't actually start with these is the problem. Like you this is the only one that will survive a four hit because if we pull up these it spawns those two so they'll instantly die and he can't survive this is literally the only option I'm a is to to weaken then you have to pull him out or he'll die. And we can't do anything else. Hmm. One, two, three. Four will come back there. Two will come over here. Do we then drop this instead? Because only two is going to come to the back. And it's a hell of a risky game we're playing. You can try to win them all, but you won't. I think we have to hit this to stop them from going... I see. I see. Wait, no I don't. Fuck. That stops damage, but... Now we can't... Fuck. This will do three. But we, we can't take out three of them all at one. This thing has to be like the final blow. Because if we do that, great, you're at two. But now we can't actually kill. And... Okay, that was... We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We just have to think this through a little more. Pull you out. We don't have a choice. Now again, only one is going to the back. Do we drop you down?
coming here, going to the back. Quite a few. We got two of them going to the back, which is more than this one can handle, maybe. One bullet. That asshole's a problem. Cause he's a, yep, fuck. He'll kill him. This is literally just a stream of watching me do the dumbest shit that I possibly can in card games with no brain. One will come front. That'll do two. Yeah, we can't have that. Because we need three of them there, but... That's gonna hit him. Play something dumb, see if it does anything. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Carny vettles, hungry like a wolf I am. <laughs> You've gotta be shitting me. Point blank him. Okay. When it said average, maybe I was thinking mode or something. But I was thinking the average of 4 plus 4. That's 8. Then 11 with the 3. Now you divide that by 3 and you get like... 3 point something. I thought it was going to round up to 4. But I guess it just stopped at 3 and decided not to use decimals. Absolutely amazing. Son, damn collectors stopped by Hawksburn again. And once again, we survive by the skin of our teeth, so our beloved queen can import yet another Zircanian rug. Devils take her, I say. Gather anything of worth in the cottage and wrap it greased to sheepskin. Take it to the field and among the sheaves, bury it. And these cursed collectors will just have to make do with what pittance we give them. Oh, well. Buddy, 
You're dead. Okay, there's some sort of like hay thing going on there. Did that like show up on our map or is it um No, we've got new loot up there, so I'm going to assume that's what that means. We'll fast travel to it. Once we uh find that it's impossible to walk through a rock. Who would have thunk? Can't rock through rocks. Yes, rock through rocks. Again, the waterfall sounds nice. This isn't the the treasure loot. Treasure loot is in a no stupid. Wait, we don't have a Count Cadwell in there? Or do we just not own one? I'm not sure why there's a thing here. Oh, I think I know why. There's uh, new items or something you can see here or something. I already forgot how to do that. Or is there oh new card? Exactly, the War Wagon. That wasn't what I was looking for, though. Uh, map. What well, looks like there were fields. Where were there fields before? Farmer field. Right there. Of course, they wouldn't send old son, uh, you know, halfway across the freaking country just to go bury some treasure. Probably, like, right there or something. Or not. Hold on, where's the, the peasants map? Yeah, it should be right there, right? There's a tree there. Uh, maybe not, no. This is a bit far. Yeah, huh. Yeah, because this is here, and that one was directly up next to it. We need to find another field. No, stupid, open the map. The other map, that is. Could be something there, but I don't think so. Another field up here, perhaps? I don't see any way to reach it, though. I'd have to go, like, down and around. Hmm. I haven't been over there, either. That part is over here, part of this. The only way I would seem to get there is to go, but you can't cross through there. Maybe there's nothing there. Maybe it's like one of these, like that right there. I'm probably way overthinking this. I 
What time is it? Lord, it's always almost, uh, rather 1 a.m. Damn, how long have I been streaming this for? I started at, like, what, 9? Damn, it's been, like, freaking forever. Those bandits, dressed as demons they was, horns on their heads and pig snouts instead of noses. Well, that doesn't sound like a demon to me, madam. But hey, I'm gonna take some recruits. Oh, that's a lot of damn recruits, too. Hey, what's up? Those bandits, oh, okay. Dressed as demons, they was. Horns on their heads and pig snouts instead of noses. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take your wood, though. If you don't mind me, uh... How the fuck do I get there, woman? You hid your wood. That's it. We're gonna have to take you in for illegal wood hiding. I'm a little upset that she she hit her wood. Anyways. Upset or not, I think this is a good place to stop it before we jump into anything else. This has been a, uh... Okay, I thought it crashed there for a second. This has been quite an interesting, um, thing. It says I've only been playing for three hours. Has it only been three? We started at nine, right? It's one. Nine to ten. Ten to eleven. Eleven to twelve. 12 to 1. I spent about 4 hours. I can do math. Um, we may come back tomorrow and do uh, maybe some Trails of Cold Steel again. Or um, I played a little Warframe on my own, actually, just earlier today. Just a couple hours to... Uh, I was waiting for something to happen that didn't and was just like, welp, that's unfortunate. Um, but... Uh, I got the Garuda Neuroptics. No way in hell am I going to be getting the uh, the actual frame anytime soon. There's just no fucking way. Um, it, it requires so many resources, it's insane. But I got the Neuroptics, so that was a thing. So maybe we can do a little bit of that tomorrow. But I'm thinking if I do a stream... It'll probably be Trails of Cold Steel again, just to to get my trails in, and then, and that again, that's if I do something tomorrow, and then I probably won't stream again until Wednesday, Tuesday. I'll, I don't know, I use the time to plan and shit, but then it'll be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday streams again, again, multiple again. Um. But thank you for the folks who showed up. Sorry if this was a bit of a boring kind of low stream, low key stream, if you will. Um, still getting into it, still coming up with things to talk about, topics and things. I am the least engaging human being on the planet in terms of just things to talk about. My interests, interests rather literally revolve around streaming and me bitching about work cool things to listen to um but uh you know hopefully in the future we'll uh, get some more interesting stuff going on um topics and things but again thank you for the people who are here and hopefully next time we will see you again